In this video, let's simulate step down chopper using MATLAB. This is, this is the question. Design a step down chopper for the following specification. The specifications are given. Uh, input voltage is 12 volt, output voltage is 5 volt, switching frequency is 25 kilohertz, voltage ripple is 20 millivolt, current ripple is 0.1 amps. Calculations involved in the design. So first one is the duty ratio. Du duty ratio is given by output voltage by input voltage, which is equal to 5, uh, 5 by 12. That is equal to 41.67 is the duty ratio. Next, we need to calculate the value of inductance and capacitance. Inductance L is equal to V out multiplied, multiplied by V in minus V out divided by current ripple delta IL into switching frequency FS into input voltage V in. So when you substitute the values in this formula, we are getting L is equal to 1.16 millihenry. And the next one is the capacitance. So capacitance is equal to current ripple delta IL and divided by 8 into switching frequency FS and delta V out, voltage ripple. When you substitute the values and the calculated value is 25 microfarad. So we, we have designed the value of inductance capacitance and we have the duty ratio as 41.67 percentage. So these values we need to uh, we need to incorporate in the MATLAB Simulink platform to design the uh, chopper. Let's open the MATLAB file. New Simulink model. Let's click the blank model. And we need to import the components. So first one is DC voltage source. So DC voltage source. Next one is MOSFET. MOSFET. Let's remove the measurement. Next diode. Let's remove the measurement, disable this measurement port. Control R to rotate. So next one, series RLC branch. Double click and let's choose the inductor. Next. We need another series RLC branch. Right click and drag. Control R to rotate. Double click. And let's choose the capacitance value. Capacitance is chosen. Next one we need resistor. So right click and drag. Double click. Let's choose R. Apply. OK. So now let's connect all the components. So DC voltage to MOSFET, MOSFET to diode, then inductor to this terminal, inductor to capacitor, resistor to inductor. Let's connect like this. We have given the connection. We need a pulse generator. So let's choose the pulse generator and let's connect it to the MOSFET. So now we have given the connection. Let's double click the DC voltage source. Amplitude is 12 volt. So step down chopper, we are going to step down 12 volt to 5 volt. Apply. OK. And here pulse generator. So here, let's choose the amplitude as 10. Time period is 1 by uh, frequency, this time period. So, so switching frequency is 25,000 kilohertz. So 25,000 hertz, therefore 1 divided by 25,000. Okay. Pulse width, this is the duty ratio. 41.67, that is the duty ratio. This one we have calculated before. Apply. OK. So 
this is MOSFET, there is no need to change anything. Diode, there is no need to change anything. Inductor, so we have to type the value of the inductor, which is 1.16 millihenry. So 1.16 millihenry. E power minus 3 means milli. Apply, OK. Then capacitor. So double click the capacitor. This is 25 microfarad. Therefore 25. E power minus 6 means micro microfarad. Apply. OK. Next, resistor. The value of resistor is 1. So let's keep like as it is. Next, we need a power guide. Power guide change continues to discrete. Apply. OK. Now we need to measure the voltage, input voltage and output voltage. For that we need voltage measurement block. So this measures the input voltage. So we are connecting across the input and we need another voltage source to be connected as at the load. Voltage source is connected at the load. Right, then we need scope. Scope. We need two ports. So double click. Settings. Number of port is two. Layout is also two. Apply. OK. So for the first one, we are giving input voltage source. For the second one, output voltage. Right? Stop time. Let's keep stop time as 1. And let's run the simulation. Compiling. And the simulation is done. So double click the scope. And here you can notice input voltage is 12 volt, whereas output voltage is 5 volt. So this is called as step down chopper.